Are you recording? Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you punch a lady in the bar? Well, I was punched by a guy. Oh, you were punched by a man. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. No, so okay, my left eye is pretty red today. It yeah. looks creepy, right? Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool. Is it? Yeah. I know. No, it's called a popped eye vessel. <laughs> Have you ever heard of it? Yeah, yeah, I had it one time. You did? Uh huh. I think I was yeah. screaming, and then it happened. Were, yeah. Me too. This happened actually for the first time. It was like twelve years ago, and I was in a comedy show, yeah. and I was impersonating this legend, <laughs> legend the comic. Do you know uh-huh. Sam Kinison? Of course. Okay. You know he's a he he was a white guy who screamed. You know in yeah, Asia. amazing. And I yeah. was I was in pers- I was supposed to impersonate him. Uh huh. So at the rehearsal, I was like shouting and then. It was great, but yeah. then the next day was the show, you know, oh. at SF Sketch Fest. Oh, then <gasps> the rehearsal went well, but then the next day when I woke up, my <laughs> eye was fucking red, and I was like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah, and I had no idea, so I went to you know oh. see um, I think an optometrist mm-hmm, at the mm-hmm. time. It, it was mm-hmm. in San Francisco. Yeah, and then, like they said, oh, it happens like when you shout or sneeze or, or sometimes when you are stressed out, or sometimes when you're pooping. Yeah, right. When you strain. <laughs> so, it, what did it happen to you when you were pooping? I think one time, yeah. Um, I was constipated because I took uh magnesium. You know the you know oh, yeah. like migraines. I get migraines. And uh, somebody told me that if you take magnesium, it helps with migraine. But the magnesium I took was like too high of a dosage. So magnesium can do two things. If you take it for migraine, it can help. But if it's too high of a dosage, it blocks your digestive system and you become constipated for like five days. <laughs> and I took I took some kind of laxative and it was like kind of helping, but not helping enough. So I think I was straining, and then yeah, it did that to my eye. Sorry about that. It's okay. So I'm better now. When you had a constipation, oh. you had that. Mm-hmm. And you- and and also when I was screaming one time. So twice. Yeah. Yeah, screaming. So did you impersonate someone? No, I think I was yelling at my mom. Oh my god! <laughs> that oh, shoot! I'm so glad I wasn't there. That would be fucking like a big screaming. Yeah, my mom and I were horrible. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what? Who were you screaming at yesterday? No. So the thing is, this happened on Saturday. So oh, long time ago. Night, no, hold on. Friday night, I didn't do anything. I wasn't. I didn't scream. I didn't yeah. strain my body. Yeah. I just did one. Uh comedy open mic and that's like a regular thing yeah. for me i didn't yeah. scream yeah then, then when i woke up on saturday mm. it happened and oh. um i don't know maybe i sneezed <laughs> don't know what <laughs> then whoa yeah. so this happened almost a week ago yeah today is friday so <gasps> it, yeah right so it's, it's lasting a long time it usually it lasts only like a week, right? Yeah, I guess so. I don't I know. Think. It's been a while since I've had it. This but... is really. I think this time, it feels like a pretty big. So yeah, it looks like a doozy. I don't. Maybe I was stressed out comedy. I don't know. Oh. But it's like you know, my eye is having a period. Yeah, your eye is menstruating. You should exactly. give it a, give it a it moon cup for seven days. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so are we just just a recording voice or are we recording this video? <laughs> there is video, but if you don't want to upload video, we don't have to. Oh, you, is that okay? I just thought it was just a voice. So look, at, I'm so we, messy today. Yeah, I'm sorry. it's okay. No, no, no. We could Hi. just do, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that 
<laughs> you remember my bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when whenever um, you go up on stage and you start jiggling your ass, it makes me laugh so hard. I think it's like one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <clears throat> I have a yeah, I have a I suggestion. My 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 butt seeking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. Yeah, yeah. I think it's so funny. I have a suggestion cuz yeah. this is what I noticed. Like since I already know that move that you're going to do, like every any I noticed that when you're on stage, any time you kind of move your body like as if you're about to do it, I start laughing. Cause I'm like expecting you to, you know, start twerking oh. again. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I was thinking if you do that butt shaking off the top, right? Like yeah, open up with it or start. Yeah. And, and then throughout your set, yeah. every time you're like kind of turning your body as if to do it again, it's just funny. Like it's always oh. funny. Yeah. Yeah. No, listen. So, okay. Okay. Tell me. Yeah, because I, I, I'm just like, oh, she's going to start doing that again. And it, and then you don't. And it's still funny, you know? Oh, yeah. interesting. No, I used to do, I started doing it like in 2018. So it oh, was a long time. Years ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to make my bit more physical because I'm a physical actor, yeah. I think. Yeah. And then it worked. So I started doing it at the beginning of my set yeah. and it started working but yeah. at the time I wasn't sure how I can you know how do you say like uh, organize everything yeah so then in 2019 I was also doing it then then the pandemic happened right mm -hmm. so and then like so recently so yesterday I I had a gig and I did a 10 minute set and then I just put it in the front, like a top of my um, set. Yeah. And then, yeah, like it was, it was pretty good. They liked yeah. it. Yeah. It's and, weird uh, and yeah. funny. I love but, it. So it's interesting when I try to move, when I move, you think, oh, she's going to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, cause I could see you, this was at the Dow mic. I noticed yeah. like, like you would like lean on the stool a little bit or like kind of like move your body like as if uh -huh. you're about to turn a little bit and i would start laughing because i'm like oh she's gonna do it again but you don't it's like you're teasing you know and right. i was like and i would just expect you to do the thing again and it was always funny yeah yeah oh you're so sweet oh thank <laughs> you thank you great feedback oh my god yeah but yeah. Uh, yeah it works you know so it is yeah it's great it's amazing i love it yesterday for 10 minutes they were laughing like <laughs> every time i move and every every time i say hey yeah yeah it's weird and funny yeah i know oh you're so sweet thank you okay i'll do that i'll take yeah. your advice i yeah. love it you had a you have like quite a journey in your life like we talked about it the first time i met you but like uh really? i want to get through it again yeah 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 because okay. you're you know yeah like you started you started doing uh performance in japan originally right yeah 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 long what time ago you? you were an actor what were you doing back then yeah i started out as an actor mm -hmm. so i took you know acting classes and i did some stage theater shows like dramatic then, acting yeah but i was always kind of weird funny person yeah so m they casted me as kind of like you know like uh, the head of whole house <laughs> <laughs> or like some weird person weird neighbor you yeah know? yeah so something like that but uh yeah i was doing like uh, acting i thought i was straight actor oh. at the time yeah but yeah. i was a really funny person throughout my school life mm -hmm. you know and i was always i you know my comedy is clean now you know yeah but when i was like a teenager growing up i was so dirty like <laughs> i was always talking about vagina penis and yeah all the thing like all the thing like professional comedians are doing here in the <laughs> yeah yeah i did that so anyway so i was kind of weird one and then but acting really didn't click me. Mm. And I did improvisation. It was a mm. long time ago. There wasn't improvisation in Japan yet. 
Mm. So they imported this improvisation from, I think it was、uh, Australia and Canada.、Mm. And then I, yeah, I was kind of like a company member.、Mm. And we were performing all the time. And I, I loved improvisation.、Mm. And I thought, oh, this is it. Yeah. So that's, that's, what, that's what I, yeah. So we were doing it. In Tokyo,、uh, you know, every wow. weekend. And, wow,、yeah. live shows. Yeah, live shows. It was, it was really fun, though. Yeah. It was, it was in the 90s. You... you know how old I am. <laughs> it was like、But、the then, late 90s. Yeah. Right, right. But then you moved to Canada after that. No, I moved to San Francisco. You moved to San Francisco? Oh, for some、mm-hmm. reason, I thought you lived in Canada. I. I went to Canada in 2019 to do my one woman show. Oh,、KDB. I see.、Yeah. So you went、in、straight、Vancouver. to San Francisco from Tokyo? Yeah. So what were you doing in San Francisco? <laughs> okay, is this podcast about, hey, talk about your life? <laughs> yeah. Something like that? Okay. Yeah. So San Francisco, so I, so I thought, you know, I learned. Oh, improvisation actually, you know, is big in Chicago,、mm-hmm. right? right? Like it, it started out in Chicago and now, like, improv is everywhere in America. So I thought, okay, you know, I wanted to. So I was interested in New York, LA, but, you know, I was so new to America. So I chose San Francisco <laughs> because, one, I didn't have to have a car. Mm hmm. And two, because the weather isn't the severe.、Mm. You know, like New York、mm-hmm. winter or summer, summer really hot, like crazy. And, and humid. I, yeah. Yeah. And Tokyo is so hot and humid. So,、mm. why I have to move from humid place to humid place?、Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So, San Francisco, yeah, I learned English. Mm hmm. I went to the cheapest English ESL school in, in town. Okay. So I learned English. Yeah. yeah. San Francisco has a nice little, like, Japantown, too, though. Oh, yeah. They are great.、Amazing. There are also a lot of Korean、uh, restaurants over there. Oh, yeah. There's a huge、yeah. Asian American community in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So big. So, um,. Yeah. Yeah, I learned English and I went to college and I started performing、uh, like theater. Oh.、And、I did the clown, clowning, clowning. You took clown, clown school? school? You went to clown school too? No, I didn't go to clown school, but、uh, I did two musicals with this、uh, group of people.、Um, it's called the, it's called the Ten Red to Hen production or something. Okay. I think she has a different name, but they are from Berkeley. Oh. And I did one Miss Saigon. Oh. You know, like、uh, all Asian actors in. Yeah, the, they all do it.、Place. They、yeah. all do Miss Saigon. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. was the whore, of course. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I did this, this called, it's called 99 Cent Miss Saigon.、Mm. So they were. So creative people.、Mm-hmm. They were amazing. Like, one of, so it was so fun. Like, we did like all like a low cost theater production in,、yeah. the, in the hallway of、um, middle school in Berkeley. Wow. Yeah. I don't remember the name of it. Holy shit. Yeah. And then the second one was Clown Show because one of the, the lead. Character in the,、yeah. the, so the lead character in the Miss Saigon named Jane Chen is my best friend,、oh. and she she was a clown, you know,、oh. she used to do clown, I mean,、yeah. she stood as it. And、uh, so we did all the clown show, and she trained me, and it's called Clown Bible. Wow, so it was about Bible. So <laughs> then I, I And I, I wanted to do comedy, so, you know, but I didn't know how to start in the United States. I don't、right. speak English and、yeah. improv is like, I have no idea what they are talking about. Yeah. So, so I did a clown show and then I started making s k e t c h with this Jane、yeah. Chen. Yeah. And we did work together for one and a half year, a one year, and then I started doing stand up comedy. 
It was 2009. Oh. Yeah. So in a way, you did go to clown school. It was just through Jane Chen. She was your clown yeah. mentor. Jane Chen clown school. Actually, yeah. she is teaching a voice, like a voice music, like a singing. Oh, wow. In, in LA. So, wow. hey, she's really good. So if you are interested in, and it's the, the Jane Chen vocal studio. <laughs> <laughs> like that. she's awesome uh, and then she teaches uh singing not clowning oh, okay that's so it's a good plug mm. yeah wow but Americans hate clowns right no i don't think that's yeah. true i think it depends i think um people who understand like what clown is and what clowning is they have a lot of respect for it Oh. And uh, people who don't really know what clowns are, they see the mainstream clown horror yeah. movies and stuff, and they have this association with clown, with horror, and being frightening. And that's oh. more like mainstream kind of commercial mentality. But me personally, yeah. um, I like I have a huge respect for clowns and clowning because why? Like oh, because like clowns. Okay, this is how I see it. Like I, I've said this before, but I, this is like a fake hierarchy, just my own mental hierarchy. Mm -hmm. I think sketch and improv, they're at the bottom, right? Because they need audience laughter. They also give laughter to one another. So they, they, they're all like kind of, you know, bunched together and they're safe. And then, mm -hmm. and then it's stand up comedy because they're alone on stage, a little bit more yeah. frightening, but they mm -hmm. need audience laughter yeah yeah and then you have clown at the top who are there alone and they don't need an audience they don't <laughs> they don't no. need anything they no, could they just be there audience. no no they, they don't need, need it audience. ultimately they don't need it ultimately they're just like okay you know whether you're there or not like it, it's like they have a different way of thinking it's almost crazy like i think maybe that's why people are scared of clowns because their logic is like it's always about embracing failure and they're uh -huh. so good at that. You know, it's like, like they've overcome some kind of mental hurdle and uh -huh. they're just so well adjusted to the notion of failure that to me, it's like clowns are at the top. Oh. But yeah, what were you saying? What were you saying about clowns? They need wow. audience. You have a great analysis of uh, sketch, <laughs> improv, stand up and clowning. And clowns, it's just an opinion. Clowns. They don't need an audience. Yeah, that's what I think. They're, so they do clowning in their room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it could be funny, you know, like a uh, in room clown show or something like a live streaming. And yeah, yeah. yeah. And then nobody watches the live stream. Zero audience. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> sad. Yeah. Sad clown, you that's know? a work of art. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, is it art? Yeah. Or is it like a masterpiece? Miserable. Misery. <laughs> Misery. Maybe. But it's no, still but funny. For me, clown, you know, there are lots of different kinds of clowns. That's true. Mm. For me, like uh, stand up is also clowning, mm -hmm. actually. So yeah. it's like, a, but it's just a. Uh, it's just it's how you say it. But the, when I do clown, like I, I don't really do it usually because mm. I don't know how to do it. But uh, I do like a character, you know, I come out as a, like a geisha girl and then yeah, do yeah. like a teaser. Yeah. And that's a complete clowning. Oh. It's a clowning. I, my clown, when I do that, it's very high status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When yeah. you're, when you, when you were uh, training in clowning, when you were learning about it, and you were developing your clown character, like what was, like what was coming out? I know everybody says, you know, some people are so mad. Some people are, you know, angry, right? Angry yeah. clown. Oh yeah, me, sometimes yeah. Me, I don't think not many things came out. I think mm. once it my big trauma came out. Oh. Huh. It was scary, but what was it? It was um my uh family problem. Oh, and uh it was it was just uh difficult. No, there was this. Uh, okay, this is dark. There was one exercise for everyone else. Right. You. This is your last day. 
mm. of having a dinner with your mom. Okay. Oh. It's an imagination. Okay. Whoa. But everybody yeah. did that. And then you eat、uh, dinner with your mom and have a discussion. This is the last time you, you, you can see your mother. Whoa. Then you're going to walk to somewhere else to see her off. Oh, wow.、Okay. And then you、okay. say goodbye. Holy shit. To your own mother. Yeah. And then you come back. Yeah. So when I did that exercise, Yeah. I just started crying. Yeah. Like crazy. And it、yeah. was like a 15 minutes exercise or something <gasps> like that. It's intense. And everybody did it in their own place. And it was like a big, giant, like a, I think, warehouse、uh, kind of、Whoa. rehearsal place. Holy shit. And then some people, everybody was crying. It's of course. But me, after the exercise, I just couldn't. Stop crying. I was crying、oh. like for one hour or something. <gasps> Kept going. I know. So that was. That See, was that's、crazy. what I mean. That's what I mean. This is what p- clown training p- fucking puts you through. They put you through that <laughs> shit. You know? It's, it's like, yeah, it's so like military shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.、Uh, nobody whipped me, but yeah, it was.、Uh, <laughs> nobody whipped me. Hey, this is your first last night with your ma- mom. Whip, whip. Yeah. No, but it's like, it's a mental and emotional training that clowning puts you through. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah I, I agree with you. Like, I guess, I, or let me ask you this like, what, what do you find similar about clowning and stand up comedy then? Oh, it's just a, you know, conversation, right? Conversation、uh... with a, a person on the stage and audience. Yeah. It's not like both of them, you, it's really conversation. Yeah. And、um, that's one thing. And also, you know,、uh, stand up com- comedians h a s you know, there are a lot of different k i n d of comics.、Mm-hmm. But clowning is like, uh, is, uh, it's really interesting. It's an art form、mm-hmm. of emotionally manipulating your own.、Mm-hmm. That's the clowning. So, clowning、yeah. sometimes sad, but it's, it's at the end, it's funny. It is. And then the stand up is, is another, I think, emotional manipulation,、mm-hmm. I think.、Mm-hmm. Right?、Mm-hmm. And so I think that's very similar.、And、yeah. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, I'm not talking about you do TV five minute set. It's just、mm-hmm. you need to perform, right?、But、sure. It's really, I think that's. That's, I think that's very similar. I think that's interesting. Yeah, because、uh, with clowning,、um, the emotional manipulation can go like to a weird standstill, you know, like an awkward moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they can stare at you like that, you know, for a、yeah. long time. And people are like, what's going on? But with stand up comedy, you have to keep them laughing. That's your job. Your job is to like come up with like punchline, punchline, tag, 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 like, The emotional manipulation is laughter typically, but with clowns,、yeah. you could have these standstill moments of pause <laughs> and、yeah. just confront them、right. with some existential reality that they're、exactly. like, What's happening? and then later the clowns say, Oh, just kidding, and then they'll like move into something different again. I love that. It's so it's it's dramatic arts in a way, yeah, it is, it is. But stand up, you know, when you you know, you You set up, right? You like, set up and a punch. That's the you know, like,、yes. traditional form. Yes. But basically, when you set up, like,、uh, if you can make big、uh, strain, like、uh, yeah. tension between you and your audience,、uh-huh. that's, and then if punch is really good,、yeah. then that's like the people are like, scared or you make audience uncomfortable. Or yeah. They see you are so mad or、yeah. angry or、yeah. whatever. And、uh-huh. then that's tension. If you have,、mm-hmm. when you have tension between、mm-hmm. you and the audience,、mm-hmm. and that's what clown does also.、Mm-hmm. So then, then punch is laughter, so relief, right? Yep. yep. So I think it's, and then when you do stand up, you know, okay, audience is uncomfortable now.、Mm-hmm. You know it. You、right? feel it.、Mm-hmm. You feel it. And then, but you know that I know, and then you are evil because you are. <laughs> I know it's so uncomfortable now. I'm going to give you 
punch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. You're like a composer. Yeah, you are, you are like what? How do you say this? Com composer. Yeah, composer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maestro. Nice. Maestro. Maestro. Uh huh. Maestro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I know dope. the word. I know English. <laughs> I landed in San Francisco at the cheapest ESL <laughs> school. Yeah. So, uh, when you went to, you say you went to Vancouver to do your one woman show. Yeah, in two thousand nineteen. Wow. It, it was a、uh, Vancouver Fringe Festival. Do you know、oh, Fringe Festival? Oh, I I didn't know Vancouver had a Fringe, but that's awesome. Tell me about this. It was a yeah, one woman so, act. Yeah, this is a one woman show called Pretty Beast.、Mm. And it's oh, by the way, I got a、uh, the best of the Fringe in Vancouver. Like it's called a pick, a pick of the fringe. So my、nice. show was extended in the bigger room. Oh, <gasps> yeah, it was, it was that、cool. must have been amazing. It was, it was cool. So this show was about my autobiographical autobiography. So it's、uh -huh. about me and my mom, and also、mm. sexism in Japan,、mm. and also、mm -hmm. United States.、Mm. So my mom was um, she passed away like. 2020, but、oh. when I did this show, she was still alive, and、okay. uh, she was、uh, schizophrenic.、Oh. It's a mental illness that、uh -huh. they don't have a, they can't tell the difference between reality and delusions.、Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So I grew up with her delusions. So、mm -hmm. it was story about mom being delusional,、mm -hmm. and、uh, you know it's difficult for kids to deal with. Mm -hmm. And that's how. And my dad, you know, being like alcoholic, you know. Oh wow! Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in Japan, I mean, he's、mm -hmm. still he's a he's still good. He's okay, but you know, he drinks every day and stuff like that.、Man. So、mm -hmm. I know. And then,、um, so it's、so、growing up that way, and I became a funny girl, you know, because、mm -hmm. you know that's what all comedians had. I guess. Yeah. That's the result. So, yeah, so I became loud,、uh, funny kid, and and then then the sexist comes in. Hmm. Or society. Oh, you are a girl. You can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So that's the they、story. shame you. Yeah. Exactly. It's so weird how they shame you, like, because like being funny is is for it's an expression of yourself. But it's like a very generous sort of expression because you're doing it for somebody else, and they're laughing and they're enjoying you. And then somebody、mm -hmm. comes in and they fucking ruin the party by shaming you and saying you're a、uh -huh. you're a girl, you're a woman. What? Are you, why are you so loud? Why are you so weird? Why do you behave like this? And like I remember so many incidents when I was a young girl, like of that happening,、uh -huh. and、do、it just stays with you. Oh, are all? Are you kidding me? All the time. There's a photograph、oh, wow. of there's a photograph of me,、uh -huh. like my dad. We were at the zoo or something. I was a child. My dad took this photograph. It was like film camera, and、uh, I was like being like you know like、eh, and like making faces and like running and I was all like this. And then my dad was like, "You're being crazy. Like you have to stop." And then he、oh、made me、God. stand. He made me stand still. And I had ba I had bangs back then, like that,、uh -huh. like fell over my forehead. And he、wow. like parted the bangs, and he made、uh -huh. me fold my hands in front of me, and made me stand like this. And he took a photo of me like center, like this, right?、Uh -huh. And the, when the、yeah. when the photo was developed,、uh -huh. there it was two two pictures in one <laughs> photo in one photograph,、mm -hmm. and on the right is me like. the the constructed fake one when I'm like standing like this with the bangs、uh -huh. parted the one that my dad forced the image and there's、uh -huh. another photo of me to the left where I'm like like making a horrible face and like standing like I was like being myself uh -huh. Uh -huh. and and this photo comes out and my dad goes you see this like look at you look at you on the left look how terrible that looks and look at you on the right look how it looks so much better and then as an adult. I look at this right, and the one on the right with me with fo folded hands that looks crazy. Like that <laughs> looks so violent, you know.、Oh. And the one on the left, when I'm like being like free and like weird and like、yeah. you know crazy, like that, I look happy and free. You know what I'm、right. saying? It's just yeah, so 
it's ridiculous how Asian patriarchy makes these stupid decisions that seem so arbitrary, like yeah. what a man wants in a woman and what their expectations are, and they yeah. impose it on every woman. Oh, yeah. So you you have a so why don't you make a GIF file with that and before <laughs> after before after yeah 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 before, before parental after. trauma and after <laughs> <laughs> so I think you are enjoying your I don't know if you have ADD or ADHD but oh a hundred percent yourself me too right one hundred percent so I couldn't be still when I was a kid. Impossible. Yeah, so everybody did, did the same thing. Like nobody yep. put me in a straight jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but it's the same thing. They Just wanted to. Yell. Yeah. Yeah. They touched my arms and they stay still. Yep. You know. Or they yell at you. Or did they hit you in Japan? They used to hit us in Korea. They used to so, beat all the kids. Yeah. I mean, the old girls loved me. Oh. Except those those mean girls. Oh, like yeah. mean girls always. Oh, you so weird. You not a girl. <laughs> Why are you so loud and weird? You know, they are annoying. Yeah. But I'm sure I'm sure their life sucks now. Yeah, <laughs> they're boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. but the girls liked me. But boys mostly like throughout my school life, like they bullied me. Really? Shut up, you girl. Oh. Shut up. Stop <gasps> saying that nasty thing. You are oh a girl. Oh my god. Yeah. And because they don't like girl to be louder than them. Mm -hmm. And then they don't like girl to be funnier than them. Mm -hmm. You know. So I was like dominating classroom, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they hated it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. so ridiculous. Had, it's ridiculous. But, so that kind of patriarchy came from other peers, like boys your age. Of Not course. even authority figures. Holy shit. Oh, also, yeah, teachers, my dad, uh, you know, adults. <laughs> and then growing up, like, you know, after you grew up, you be kind of like a sexy, you know, we are interested in sex, boys, you know, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. But then still, like, the guys are like, are you so weird? Like, <sighs> they go, I thought you are the, you are the perfect girl. But... <laughs> You are too funny. <laughs> and one guy said, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, when they glance at me, you know, yeah. I was so sexy and young. Yeah. And yeah. Then, but then, then they go, oh, my God, I'm going to try this girl. You know, I'm going to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then when they start talking to me, hey, mm. what's your name? And I go, eh. <laughs> 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 I like, suck my dick. <laughs> my dick <laughs> you know I was 19 or 20 and with a mini skirt and high heel shoes and with lots of makeup it was like 30 years old ago in Tokyo holy shit oh, oh god, my I'm, god I'm so scared <laughs> so listen so in my country there yeah. is a there is a party like a, a party called Gokon do you know Gokon? Uh -huh. No. Gokon is a uh, where single girls meet single boys. Oh, a mixer. It's, it's like a mixer, but the usually mm. that what happened is uh okay, Grace, you bring your four your friends, four of your friends. Uh, so okay. five girls and I'm gonna bring my four of my boys, I see. guy mm -hmm, friends. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you know, we're gonna go to Izakaya or whatever mm -hmm. and do go <clears throat> meeting. They call it meeting in Korea. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. then I have never been invited for go. Oh, not because once. Girls, girls loved me, but they don't wanna. They didn't want to be associated <laughs> with someone like me at the Gokon. You know the Gokon at the Gokon. They do everything. They all do like what your dad told you to do. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is how you yeah. sit. This is how yeah. you talk. Pretend. Yeah. Exactly. Acting. Like a lady yeah. Man. Yeah. Then if yeah. someone like me was there, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be horrible, right? Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Like yeah. Or or you go you go to Gokon like this, like oh hi, I'm Kazu, <laughs> <laughs> and then they say I like you, and you start dating, and then you reveal your true self. What up? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. I was yeah. never really invited, but once when I was like 30 years old, yeah. I was invited once. Wow. In a job job situation. Oh, wow. And then I dominated the parties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And all guys hated me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, let me ask you, your, your current husband... Mm-hmm. He thinks you're very funny, right? He laughs a lot. He's a good audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, yeah. that's that's what women like us need. Like the last two guys that I dated, they both mm-hmm. thought I was the funniest person in the world. It, it was that's like per- it was really great. I loved I loved dating them because they uh-huh. they enjoyed me for yeah. being funny and weird. Yeah. And it's like that kind of acceptance is like the best, right? Because it's like that's what we want from our audience anyway. Right. When we get up yeah, on stage, yeah. we want them to laugh and appreciate mm-hmm. and approve mm-hmm. and accept us. And mm-hmm. that's what a partnership is, too. Like if they're like, oh, <laughs> you know, like when we're yeah. being ourselves, it's like, yeah. oh, it's, it's not going to work out. Like, thank yeah. goodness. You know, but yeah. at least that reaction is there. So we know from the beginning, like, oh, yeah, this yeah. will never work out rather than yeah. finding out later. You know, yeah, it's we're so lucky true. in a way. Yeah, it's so true. But I used to date with a guy who liked me so much and he said you're so weird but you're my you know <laughs> we were a very good couple i got it was crazy yeah but then he started saying after years you got to be like a woman oh <gasps> it's, it's it's in my show it's in my pretty beast crazy but, yeah so it's crazy. crazy wait wait is pretty beast is that an album or do you have it as a special oh. I mean, it's a, it's a one woman show, so it's yeah. not, but it's not recorded. But oh, you didn't record it, okay? I have a, I have a video, I have a video. Really? Yeah, mm. and I have three videos, and um, but one video that was so good, like I did this uh Vancouver in the big theater. Yeah. And this videographer fucked it up, so I only have half of it. So it's oh. it's. But listen, I'm going to do the same show in another in another city in Canada in July. Mm. It's uh, also Fringe Festival. Uh, I think Good. it's called Winnipeg Fringe Festival. Okay. It's, it's middle of nowhere in Canada. Uh-huh. But, okay. But that's why that's we still... can have audience. So yeah. I'm going to do it this year. And also, I'm making a new show and new different one woman show yeah yeah and uh i'm going to do it in san francisco in september this year oh you have so many fun things planned that's exciting oh, you. when you so go to we- winnipeg are you going to bring a production team to like record it i hope you do yeah i'm i'm not gonna bring anybody from here because it costs yeah but, uh, hire them there. Hire someone. yeah good over there. I good hope please this time. please do it because it sounds it sounds awesome it sounds really great and i would love to see it it's crazy. So hold on. So when you you grew up in here in United States or I was born went... in I was born in Busan, Korea, and then I moved oh, to awesome. New York when I was five, and I grew up in New York. Oh, yeah. So you are kind of trained to behave in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, I have a lot of New York in me. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's so weird, like, uh, when I do this show, yeah. you know, and then lots of young girls come to me, and then they go, yeah, I still have it. And I'm like, really? You still? Like, they are, like, a 25, 30 years old, or sometimes, like, 19 years old women. And girls. they say, I still have it, as in they feel old? No, no. Like, they said, they... They can relate to my experience. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And oh, I'm yeah. Still, so do the society is still doing it to you guys? And then they go, yeah. Yes. And I'm like, really? Yes. You really? think it's, do you think it's ever going to stop? That's surprising yeah. to me. No, no, it's no. It's never going to stop. Yeah. But it sounds like nowadays, you know, I don't know. I'm not a teenager. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I have no idea, but. 
it's just you know now like you know girls are like all like naked singing in a music video and <laughs> I don't know so it sounds like a situation hasn't changed that much well yeah it's never it's never gonna change it's always gonna be there and it always has been there like women being naked and singing they've had that for centuries that's never stopped even before video they've had that you know yeah. it's never it's never gonna stop that kind of objectification of women's bodies and sexism you know it's never gonna mm. stop nowadays it's easier to commercialize you know like there are a lot yeah. of people who post their naked bodies on instagram and get a lot of followers through that and call themselves yeah. a comedian and that's fine you could do that if you want <laughs> you know but it's a choice right you everybody has a choice that they can make in their lives to express themselves and mm -hmm. you know that's one thing but objectification of women uh, misogyny sexism that's never ever ever going to end never and never. never oh yeah never. it's impossible yeah because it's systemic it's structural you know it's like how the system is and um but i think that's fine it doesn't mean that we have to give up and yeah. accept it no mm -hmm. that's not what it means i think it's true that every day it gets a little bit better i also think that yeah <laughs> like I like little so. little changes you know mm, mm. and part of that change comes from people who address it like you know mm. you do it through your art you know mm. people do it through writing essays or whatever activism mm. so you make little incremental changes but oh. it, it takes a long time for those changes to be implemented widely and systemically that doesn't happen really? overnight yeah yeah it takes an no. eternity yeah I thought because my show, my show is pretty good. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. But uh, but I thought maybe it's a old, old, already old subject. No, not at all. Se sexism will never be old. It will always be relevant. <laughs> always. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Record it. Record it. Turn it into a an album or a special and release it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, release it's it awesome. because it's yes. a, it's a performance. Really? Yeah. Sell yeah, it. Really? Sell it on Amazon or some shit. I don't know. Fucking figure it out. You know, you can monetize. Oh my God. From it. Okay, can you be my producer then? <laughs> no. No, please, I don't want to do that. Please. <laughs> please find. So find someone. <laughs> no. No. Ask your ask your husband agent manager. Ask him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's not my agent. It's a joke, but he is a magician. <laughs> yeah, ask your ask your husband to work some magic and turn it into a, a special that you can sell. Sure. I'm okay. sure he could do it. Da, yeah, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I do this at the end of all of my uh podcast episodes. So okay. I'm gonna ask you some flashcard questions. And so this is improv. You just improvise mm -hmm. what you would do if you were this person in this situation. Okay, very simple. Okay. Okay. All right. The show I'm going to cover is called Hotel Del Luna. Came out three years ago. It's currently on Netflix. It's also on Vicky. And uh, okay. So let's say you're a young man. Okay. Your name is Ku Chan Sung. And you're 20 years old. You went to Harvard. Very mm -hmm. smart man. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're smart. You're capable. You have a bright future ahead. You move mm -hmm. back to Korea to attend your father's funeral because he just died. And after your father's funeral, you got a job as an assistant manager at a very famous big hotel in Seoul. But somebody kidnaps you, takes you away. And you end up at some different hotel called Hotel Del Luna. And it's nice, but the hotel is full of ghosts. There are ghosts everywhere. The hotel is full of ghosts. And a woman named Manuel, what Manwa? Her name is Manwa. Okay. Manwa. She's the owner of the hotel, and she explains that when you were very young, your mm -hmm. father made a deal with her that in exchange for his life, he will send his twenty-year-old son to Hotel Del Luna to work for her. What do you do? What do you mean in exchange? To like the do life? like twenty years ago, your dad was about to die. Oh. And the oh. ghost Manuel said, "Okay, fine. Like, you, you, I'll let you live, but oh. when your son turns twenty, you have to send him to me. And oh. now you're now you're the son, and you're twenty years old, and you have to go work for the ghost hotel. <laughs> what do you do? 
so I need to work with ghosts and yeah them. yeah well, I would tell <clears throat> listen I went to Harvard yeah I don't have to take this because <laughs> I went to Harvard you know Harvard yeah. <laughs> well but then I can still get out so <laughs> I don't know. I I I would commit suicide then. <laughs> oh my god. Well, because I have this bright future. I went to Harvard and my dad yeah. just passed and now I'm captured in this hotel like a ghost with a bunch of ghosts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's your job now. So you would just kill yourself and become a ghost at the hotel too. <laughs> exactly. Oh, sad. <laughs> Okay. okay. Good. Is that is that good? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just insist that you went to Harvard and that you will not put up with this shit. Okay. I like that. No. Yeah. No. That's how most Harvard people respond to things. I think. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. yeah. It, it becomes an excuse for everything. It's like I can't do this. I went to Harvard. I will no, not. Listen. Some people, not everybody, but people who went to this prestigious school. Yeah. Like my orthodontist before in San Francisco. <laughs> Every time I visit her, every yeah. three weeks, or no, two weeks, she goes, she talks fast, like a very successful Asian American. <laughs> hey, Gumi, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And then everything she says, oh, yeah, I went to Harvard. <laughs> when I went to Harvard, oh, I know him. He went to Harvard. <laughs> I'm like, stop it, bitch. Like, yeah, like Harvard, Harvard, Harvard. Uh. Yeah, these Asians, they turn their kids into annoying animals by talking about Harvard so much that the kid goes to Harvard and then that's all they could ever fucking talk about. It becomes a disease. Yeah. Oh, they should categorize so, it as a yeah. disease. The Harvard yeah. disease. The one it where is. you can't stop talking about Harvard. I know. It's just annoying. You know, but but at least she went to Harvard. Imagine if she did yeah. not go to Harvard and she always <laughs> talked about Harvard. <laughs> That's called a liar. Or maybe she's delusional. You know? She has a condition. It's funny. It's funny. I think maybe it's hilarious. Maybe should I make on a character that I, I believe that I went to Harvard? Yeah, called no, Harvard. I Harvard. When I was Harvard, and then my friend said, no, no, you didn't go to Harvard. You went to community college. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, but I hung out with a lot of Harvard students and I went to their campus every day and I wear their Harvard clothes all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. yeah. You, went to, you went to Harvard's gift shop. Gift shop every day. You went to Harvard gift shop every day. <laughs> yeah. No, you worked at the gift shop. <laughs> That's what you did. Yeah, you were their employee because you wanted the fifteen percent discount, and you bought the whole store. Yeah. <laughs> you decorated your whole room. I love this character. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. okay. Let's okay. say now. Let's say you're uh, the same boy, Ku Chan Sung. Okay. Oh, same guy. Okay. Kuchan same, Sung. same, same guy. There is a series of unexplained deaths happening all around you. All these people are dying around you. And their ghosts keep saying the same person is like, this guy, this guy did it, this man. His name is Chiwon. And you know this man. You and Chiwon went to Harvard together. <laughs> <laughs> he killed seven people. But he's also, an, uh, he's also a police officer now. And he's very good at covering up the deaths. And nobody believes you when you try to explain that he's the killer. And that all the dead people's ghosts have been telling you that he's the killer. What do you do? Well, this is a very difficult question, though. But I would tell all the ghosts that uh, Chiwan, that yeah. the, oh, Chiwan went Harvard. <laughs> yeah. Well, so he went to Harvard, so so he can get away. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know what I would do. Mm. Yeah, Harvard. But he went to Harvard. <laughs> Again, that's yeah. He went to Harvard. It's okay. Yeah, he went to Harvard. Yeah, you yeah. can. People at Harvard get to kill at least ten people, yeah. and be innocent. Yeah, yeah. be innocent. 
I like that. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last question. Okay. Ghost, Let's say you're. Ghost? Yeah, yeah. Same, same, same show. Yeah. Okay. You're Manuel now. You're that lady who owns the hotel. Okay. Oh, you. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm yeah. a. I'm a ghost, right? You're. You're. Yeah. You're like a ghost, basically. Yeah. Okay. You're like neither dead nor living. You're in between state. Okay. Yeah. You've been alive for thirteen hundred years. Okay. You. You. You have not been able to die for thirteen hundred years, and this hotel. All right, is your curse. You're the owner of this hotel, but it's like you're a slave to it. You have to help all these ghosts move on to the afterlife through this hotel and you're working, but you wanted to die for 1300 years. You're like, this is bullshit. I don't want to fucking live this way, right? Mm -hmm. Now, finally, a deity comes and says, you've paid your dues and you can die and you can have peace in the afterlife now. You can move on now. But the problem mm -hmm. is, you're in love with this Kuchansun guy now. You guys are in love. No, yeah. okay. Yeah. So what do you do? Well, because I this is he's my first boyfriend I've ever had, <laughs> and I like his sex and and I love him because uh, he went to Harvard, and then uh, so I. You know, I would like to negotiate with this guy. Can you yeah. make my boyfriend yeah. to be like oh, me? Shit. I'm so sorry. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Can you make I'm your so boyfriend like me? Like me. Like someone who is be in the between death and life. Oh, so that yeah. I can be with him forever. Yeah. Because he Turn went to Harvard. <laughs> yeah yeah make his harvard existence forever <laughs> yeah i would negotiate but yeah uh, oh. or mm -hmm. hmm, i don't know should i kill him <laughs> and then we can be dead together yeah and... that's also a solution yeah but he would say no i don't want to die i went to harvard <laughs> Yeah, I have a bright future ahead of me. <laughs> In this ghost hotel. Yeah, because I'm a Harvard graduate. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Very good. That's okay. the end of the flashcard questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this was a really fun chat. I appreciate oh, you doing thank it. thank you, Grace. It was yeah. fun. Yeah, I hope your eye gets better. Yeah, I know.